All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and shoot the HICOM 4 SAS-7 Level 4 ceramic plate with M61 AP. We're going to shoot it from the 22-inch M1A. Look at that. So there's a pretty good dent there. Top, Nothing yeah. came out the back. Again, this plate's already been hit with 450 Marlin, 358 Winchester, a sledgehammer. <laughs> of course, this plate is rated for 30-06 AP. <coughs> and the M61 projectile isn't quite as good at getting through stuff as the M2 AP projectile is. But you can see, it still, still did a real good job of stopping it. Piece of, oh, piece of down there. Let's see if we can find any. Yep, that's the penetrator. Crown that up like jacket. Here, wait, that'd be, hold, it, hold it sideways like that would be kind of a cool shot. You can see the how much it bows out in the back. Oh, yeah. Well, no, sideways like this. Just gives it a little bit of a different angle view. So you can kind of see how... Wh which one is that? This one is the M61. Because that looks so like that was on, it does came seem the closest. Like yeah, it does seem like more back face deformation. I'm not sure if that's mainly a result of it having already been shot several times or a result of the penetrator just getting a little deeper into the ceramic layers than the all copper and lead bullets, or all lead with like copper this. jacket. Get a... Yep. Well, one thing I kind of want to note here is how it looks as though there's not a lot of back face deformation just based on the back of the plate. But if you look at what it does to the clay here, you can see that it drives out a pretty much a much larger dent in the clay than um, than it appears to do on the plate. All right, so we just noticed this that this spot here with these fibers on it is the spot that was right under the impact. You can see these kind of concentric circles in the in the pieces. I just thought that was kind of neat. Thought you might want to see it.